back from Kmart now. I'm going to try a couple of outfits on. Here's option number one. Morning guys, it is Friday today. I've actually decided to do a weekend in my life vlog instead of a weekly vlog this week. Honestly, I've just been feeling unmotivated, like a little bit flat and a bit overworked. And I know that I'm getting my period soon. So I think it's mainly due to that, but I've also just been doing a lot of content work lately, especially like October, November, December are so busy because there's Black Friday sales, Cyber Monday, Christmas, like everyone's just wanting content. So I just decided to take the week off vlogging and honestly, you didn't miss much. Like it was a very boring week. So I didn't want to bore you guys with just seeing the same old stuff. I did get my nails done though. That was pretty exciting, but I'm feeling a lot better today. And I also have like a semi exciting weekend, I guess. I'm going out tonight for drinks with some friends. And then tomorrow I'm actually going sunflower picking, which I'm so excited for. I've always wanted to go. And because we're in lockdown the last two years, we didn't get to go. So I'm very excited to pick some sunflowers and sunflowers are just so beautiful. Like they just make you so happy. So I'm very excited for that. I'm actually just about to head off to Kmart because I potentially have some people staying in the spare bedroom tonight and I don't have a quilt or pillow. So I need to go get those. Look, I'm going to try only get those two, but I can't make any promises. Like, I don't know what happens when you go into Kmart. You just end up buying so many things that you don't need. No promises, but I probably will walk out of the shopping center with a bit more than a quilt and some pillows. So I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys when I get back. I'm back from Kmart now and honestly, I'm pretty proud of myself. I didn't go too crazy. Everything that I got was justified and things that I needed. So first up, I got a quilt for the spare bedroom, two pillows for the spare bedroom as well. And then I got two cushions for the couch. Zayden is gonna be so annoyed because he hates cushions. Does anyone else's boyfriend absolutely despise cushions? Because Zayden just hates them with a passion. We have two on our bed at the moment and when it comes to bedtime and to take them off, he would just like fling them across the room. He just doesn't get it. I think pillows make a space look cozier and more homey. And at the moment, the couch is looking very bare and just boring. So you need some style, you need some cushions. But if anyone else's partner also despises pillows, can you please let me know? Or am I just, is mine the only one that hates them? Anyway, this is the first cushion here. If you've been to a Kmart, I'm sure you've seen this cushion before. So that's the first one. And then this is the second cushion. I love this one. So hopefully together they look all right, but I have one more thing to show you guys. And then I'll show you what the cushions look like on the couch. The last thing I got is this wall clock to go in the kitchen behind me. Most ovens have like the time on them, but ours doesn't. And it's very frustrating not being able to know the time when I'm cooking dinner, like if I don't bring my phone with me. So we decided to get a wall clock. So hopefully that looks cute. But that is everything that I got from Kmart. I think I'm going to start getting ready soon. But before I do that, I was thinking I might show you guys an updated apartment tour. It's basically finished. We just need to get a dining table. I've ordered chairs, so hopefully they come in the next two weeks. They are so beautiful. So I'm very excited to show you guys that. But other than that, the apartment's pretty much finished. Like I'm probably gonna get a few more decor pieces here and there as I go. But for now, I don't think I'll be buying any more things for the apartment. So I thought I would show you guys. If you see anything that you wanna know where it's from, any decor or furniture, just leave me a comment down below and I will tell you guys. I think it'll just take a really long time if I go through absolutely everything because I do need to start getting ready soon. But yes, let me show you an updated apartment tour. Okay, this is what the living room is currently looking like. It's a little bit bare still. I think I wanna do a photo wall here and get a whole bunch of prints. I've been looking on Desenio and there's a whole bunch that I like, so it might be doing that. And then this is the rest of the living room. I'll show you guys the cushions. So I think I like them, but I need a throw maybe to like tie it all in together at the moment. They just kind of look a little misplaced, but I think I like them. So there's not too much to update you guys on in the kitchen, but I wanted to show you my favorite corner. I just think this space is so 
aesthetically pleasing. So this board here is from Kmart. This one here I actually got the other day. It's a little cheese board from TK Maxx and it came with four cheese knives as well for like $20. And I think this is called Terrazzo, but it's so beautiful. Candles from Sonda and Wick and this thing here is from Kmart, but I just think it's so beautiful. Like I love cooking here just to look at this little corner. So this is what the spare bedroom looks like now. I've just done up the bed with the pillows and the quilt that I bought. I actually had this quilt cover from when I lived with my parents. So it's definitely come in handy for the spare bedroom. And then this bed frame, I think is from Ikea, but I love the shelf on top of it. I think it's so cute that you can like style things on top of it. But yes, that is the spare bedroom. And this is what our bedroom is looking like now. I think it looks so cute. It honestly does look a bit girly but Zayden doesn't mind that I've put little pops of pink everywhere. My favorite part of the bedroom is honestly my side table especially at the moment with the flowers on it. Zayden actually bought me them the other day and I think they just look so cute. I'm probably now always going to have flowers on my bedside table because they just look so cute and then this is from Kmart and then you would have seen these candles in a previous vlog. They're from Sonda and Wick. So our bedroom is basically done. All I want to do is add some artwork on the top of our bed. And I think that'll just make it look a lot less bare. Like I love it at the moment, but I think it'll look really nice with some artwork on the top of the bed. I am honestly so obsessed with our bedroom. I just love the color palette and it's such like a calming space, which I think is really important for a bedroom. But yeah, that is all of the updates, I think. So I'm gonna go get ready now and I'll chat to you guys after I've done my hair and makeup. I've just finished doing my hair and my makeup. And I have no idea what I want to wear. Like the place that we're going to is like kind of fancy. I know that I'm going to have to wear heels and I really don't want to wear heels. Like I have not worn heels for a very long time. I always wear like platform sandals. So maybe I'll see if I can get away with doing that. But the place is called Bar Pacino. I've never been there, but apparently it is quite fancy. It's in the city and it's like along the river there. So all the restaurants there are really nice. I'm going to try a couple of outfits on and... Hopefully I find something that I like. Okay, so this is option number one. It's just this little shirt dress from White Fox and this bag is from White Fox as well. It's really cute and it's super comfy, but I only own nude heels and I feel like this outfit would be perfect if I had white heels. So I don't know. This is option number one. I'm gonna try on a couple more things. Okay, this is option number two. I don't think I'm gonna pick this one. I've had this sitting in my wardrobe for nearly a year and I just, I don't know what it is about this. Like, I think it's like the puffy sleeve. If it had two puffy sleeves, I think it would be cute. But I just don't know if I'm a one sleeve kind of gal. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to wear this one. Okay, guys, I think we have found a winner. This play suit is so cute. This one here is from Amoroso Boutique. And I just love the back. I think this is going to be perfect for where we're going tonight. Pair it with some nude heels. Got my nude bag. Gold jewelry. Put a couple of rings on as well. And that is my outfit done for tonight. I'm very happy with this choice. Feels like I have been gone. about to go sunflower picking. I am so excited for some sunflowers. I honestly didn't think we'd make it because the sky was so gray this morning. It was just like pouring down rain. That has cleared up now and there's blue skies. There's a couple of clouds, but honestly, I'm so happy that it's not raining and we can go because the sunflower farm that we're going to is actually only open until next weekend. It's called Caliber Sunflower Farms. And the reason why it's only open for a certain amount of time is because it's a privately owned sunflower farm. But if you are wanting to go sunflower picking and you live in Brisbane, Gold Coast area, I'm pretty sure it's called Farm & Co that also has a sunflower farm. So definitely check them out as well. But I'm gonna go now. I'm so excited to pick some sunflowers and I'll show you guys when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Thank you. All that I say, all that I do, I'm over the moon. Good morning guys, it is Sunday today. It's nearly 10 a.m. and I've just managed to get myself off the couch. I have been watching movies all morning. I've just not been feeling the best. I woke up with my period, so a movie morning was exactly what I needed but I'm going to a family friend's place tonight and I decided to make a rocky road. So I kind of need to do it now so that it has time to set and like cool down and everything like that. But I just wanted to update you guys on the sunflower field that I went to yesterday. It was honestly such an amazing experience. I just left so happy. It was like a whole big event as well. There was a live singer, there were food trucks, like coffee, ice cream. I think there were burgers. There were people selling like sunflower socks like all these cute like sunflower related things and then you could actually pick your own sunflowers so for each sunflower you picked it was two dollars each so you can see my sunflowers that i picked there so i got three sunflowers for six dollars which was amazing i thought that was such a good deal it was just so much fun picking them as well and the photos that i got oh my goodness they are the cutest photos I have gotten in a very long time. So I'm very happy about that. The sunflower farm that we went to, it's called Calibre Sunflower Farm, is actually only open for one more week. So if you do wanna go, you're gonna have to go this coming weekend. I'm gonna go make some Rocky Road now. I've never made Rocky Road before. Surely it's not gonna be that hard. So hopefully it turns out good and I will talk to you guys later. Sorry, I literally filmed nothing today. I basically spent the day just lying on the couch watching movies and then I had a two hour nap. So very relaxing day, but I hope you enjoyed this weekend in my life and I will see you guys next week.